Welcome to another video and this time it's on how weight distribution hitches work. So what is a weight distribution hitch? Well it's a device which is designed to transfer load from the rear axle of the tow car to the front axle of the tow car and also to the trailer axles and that is what, what one looks like and when it's fitted that's what it looks like there. So this is how it works. So let's, let's say we've got a car and it's not hooked up to anything at the moment and we've got some uh, force and some weight on the front axle and the rear axle. Now if we add a caravan then we've got trailer mass and we've got tow ball mass and what happens then is that the amount of weight on the rear axle increases by about one and a half times the tow ball mass and the front axle decreases by about half the tow ball mass. And then of course in this case the springs are pretty soft so the vehicle is sagging down. Now if we add a weight distribution hitch and that's the green um, thing there, it's, you know, pretty good diagram I reckon. Um, what I've done at the moment is made the bottom diagram exactly the same as the top diagram but without accounting for the weight distribution hitch and so that means that the front axle load is reduced the rear axle load is massively increased and there's no change to the trailer now if we add in the effect of the um, tow ball of the weight distribution hitch this happens we significantly reduce weight on the rear axle we add weight to the front axle but not as much as um, was originally on there and we also add weight to the trailer axle as well and you can conceptually think of a weight distribution hitch as if the, the drawbar didn't really hinge but it went all the way through to the front axle. That's kind of a reasonably good conceptual way to think about it. Okay, so what are the good points and bad points about weight distribution hitches? On the negative, not all vehicles can use them. Look in your uh, car owner's manual and you'll see whether you can or cannot use one under the circumstances that the vehicle manufacturer recommends. Um, they're no good off-road, they limit articulation, uh, they cost a bit extra and they require some setup. You've got to figure out how to pull up the chains. They add uh, um, they add weight to the trailer and because of that they may you may exceed the trailer's ATM and they need to be disconnected for tight terms and such as reversing. On the positive side they significantly reduce rear axle load. The uh, tow car ride height is more level which is great for handling um, and then your springs aren't compressed as much on the back and your headlights are more level um, and they add weight and grip to the, to the trailer axle which is good and also to the front of the tow car and that's good for, generally good for towing handling and performance. So remember, do not exceed any limit, be that tow ball mass, axle load, ATM, GTM, or anything else. See my other videos for that. Weight distribution hitches are very useful, but you have you can't just add them to any trailer and hope it's going to be okay. Like anything, you've got to carefully do your research, make sure it's appropriate for your tow car and for your trailer, set it up correctly, and then happy towing. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel or follow me on Facebook for more on four-wheel drives, cars, and towing.